Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use a modern robotics range sensor on an FTC robot. Let's get started. So to start, locate your core device interface module, which is for me right here. Take your range sensor and plug it into the I2C ports. Do notice that you want to have the black wire on the right when you're plugging it in. I'm plugging it into the bottom port but you can plug it into whichever. Okay, so now let's program. So to start, create a new file. Most of this code is under the sensor MR range sensor code in the samples file. So start by copying this first bit of code here. This tells the program that we're going to have a range sensor called range sensor. So next, copy this line of code here and paste it in the init. So this line of code here tells range sensor where it is being plugged in on the core device interface module. In the phones that run the robot, you specify the name of the device that you're plugging in, and that is what this name is. Now we are all done, but now we just want to display the data. So copy this line and paste it in the loop which will run infinity times until you stop the program. Using the telemetry command, it will print out the data on the screen. It'll say raw ultrasonic, and then it will look at range sensor dot ultrasonic, and that will print that. If you also want to see the raw optical sensor data, you can do another of the same command. And back here, instead of raw ultrasonic, say raw optical. And also, you can change what it says. So let's say make this say optical 2. So now, if we upload the program to the phones, it will now, in the little black bar at the bottom of the screen, it will now say raw ultrasonic and give the data, and raw optical and give the data. So now, upload the program to the phones, and then we will configure them. OK, so let's configure the phones. Start by clicking the three dots in the top right corner, and click on Configure Robot. Next, scroll down to your Configure file or make a new one. So I'm going to configure one that I already have. So I'm going to click on it and hit Edit. Then find your Device Interface Module. Click on I2C Devices. And then scroll down and look for the port that you plugged the device in. On that, click on the Nothing box and then hit MR range sensor, and then type in range, or whatever you told it to look for. Hit done, done again, done again, save, and then OK. Make sure you hit activate to make sure you're running it too. So now we are done that part. Now let's run the program. So I now have the robot powered up and running. So let's see what data we get back. So right there we have the range sensor. So that is going to pick up the distance. If we look on the phone, you can see it says raw optical and raw ultrasonic. The optical does not have a very good distance range, so it's for the close-up range. And the ultrasonic has a very good distance range, but not very good close range. So they work together to make great range sensor. So I brought the robot closer to me, and now it, you can see the values have changed. So it is working. So if you liked this video, hit a thumbs up. And if you really loved it, hit subscribe. Thank you for watching. <laughs>